and good evening again. As I told you before, my name is Douglas Arevalo. Buenas noches de nuevo, como les dije hace un instante. Mi nombre es Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be the facilitator of this course. Voy a ser el facilitador de este curso. Y veamos en la medida de lo posible, los que podamos ir activando las cámaras, por favor, recordemos de que este es un requerimiento de Insaforp. Eh, también les recuerdo, voy a tomar asistencia al inicio de la clase, eh, a las 9 de la noche y al final de la clase, este porque ellos nos verifican eso. Veamos qué más. Eh, bueno, un gusto para mí tenerlos a todos por acá. Estamos en el grupo Beginners One, ¿verdad? Estamos básico uno. ¿Sí? Perfecto, perfecto. Ante todo, recuérdense, eh, es su clase. Cualquier duda, cualquier inquietud, ustedes me pueden preguntar acá, me preguntan directamente al móvil. Ningún problema, estoy acá para servirles. Este, cualquier sugerencia, igual. Como les decía en un inicio, mi nombre es Douglas Arevalo. Eh, les voy a hablar este día un poquitito en español, solamente para algunos pequeños detalles. Eh, a continuación, pues, nos iremos directamente al inglés. Eh, tengo 41 años de edad, soy profesor de inglés. Eh, he enseñado inglés, like, for uh, 20 years up to now. He estado enseñando inglés por 20 años. Ya, yeah. bueno, casi 21 años ya. Uh, and I have worked in different programs. He trabajado en diferentes programas. I've been working for uh, University of Don Bosco, for uh, Universidad Pedagógica, uh, CCLS, Centro Cultural Espareño, and I've been around. Now I'm working here at, at Inglés Corporativo, uh, working for Insafor, and it's a pleasure for me. This is a very nice program that we are immersed on. Este es un muy buen programa en el que estamos inmersos. Este, como les decía, he trabajado en distintas instituciones. Trabajé para la Universidad de Don Bosco, Universidad Pedagógica, Centro Cultural. Con Insafor ya tengo varios años. En este programa en específico he trabajado la mayor parte del tiempo para Insafor. Un muy buen programa. Eh, espero que todos logremos sacar el mayor y mejor provecho. Eh, como les repito, he trabajado en este programa por varios años. Y les puedo dar fe de que he visto muy buenos resultados. Un poquito de esfuerzo, un poquito de empeño. Y como les dije en un inicio, es su clase. Dudas, sugerencias, tranquilamente. Eh, les repito, mi nombre es Douglas. That's it, no problem, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa, ustedes se dirigen directamente a mí y con gusto les atiendo. Eh, estamos ya... Eh, ya es la hora, veamos, tenemos 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, nos falta la mitad, 11, 11, eh, veamos. En lo que respecta al curso, recordemos, vamos a recordar algunas indicaciones de Insafor, al menos para tenerlas claras, sé que ya se las dijeron, pero siempre es bueno recordarlas. Eh, es importante la asistencia. Buenas noches, Edwin. Eh, la asistencia es muy, muy importante. La asistencia es verificada por Insafor todos los días, cada sesión. Y es imprescindible para aprobar el curso. ¿Ok? Entonces, en eso tenemos que estar claros. Vamos a llevar la asistencia y el trabajo en la plataforma. Son las dos cosas que tienen que estar completas para que nosotros podamos aprobar el curso. Entonces... Eh, es muy, muy importante que en la medida de lo posible, por favor, hagamos el esfuerzo. Recordemos, esto es una beca que Insafor provee para ustedes. Eh, nosotros no podemos autorizarle permiso. Si usted me dice, mire, me he enfermado, pues yo le puedo decir, ok, entiendo. Yo entiendo, pero eh, no es que se le va a dar un permiso, que usted tiene la libertad de no asistir a una clase. Esa cuestión ya no se ve, trabaja con nosotros. En todo caso sería eh, Human Resources, perhaps. Ok, veamos qué más. Eh, el trabajo en la clase, pues, it's going to be like this. We are going to be talking. Vamos a estar trabajando, vamos a estar hablando. I'm going to be presenting to you uh, sometimes a PowerPoint presentation. En algunas ocasiones una presentación, una PowerPoint presentación. Uh, sometimes we are going to be working with the manual. También vamos a estar trabajando con el manual. I will project the manual to you. Les voy a proyectar partes del manual 
We're going to be working with conversations, practicing conversations. Vamos a estar trabajando con conversaciones, practicándolas. And we are going to be working like in groups. Lo voy a dividir en pequeños grupos. So you can work in small groups. And I'm going to be jumping from group to group, supervising. Y voy a ir saltando de grupo a grupo, supervisando. Okay? And let's see what else. Well, if anything, remember, guys, any question, just ask. Cualquier pregunta, solo háganla. And if you do not understand me, don't worry. Si no me entienden, no se preocupe. It's, first, it's normal. Para comenzar, es normal. We are in basic one. Okay, estamos en beginner's one. Esto es principiante uno. Okay? I'm going to be like repeating and repeating and repeating again and again and again. Voy a estar repitiendo vez tras vez tras vez because the idea is for you to finally get it. And remember, we are learning a language. Estamos aprendiendo un lenguaje. So, one of the most important aspects is repetition. Okay? Uno de los aspectos más importantes es la repetición. If something is going to really, really help you to learn, is repetition. Si algo de veras le va a ayudar a aprender, es la repetición. Okay? So, don't worry. And besides that, please, remember, this is a class. Además de eso, recuerdes, esto es una clase. You can make as many mistakes as needed. Puede cometer la cantidad de errores que sean necesarios. The idea is that we correct those mistakes here. La idea es corregir esos errores acá. And that's our goal. Esa es nuestra meta. That's what we are going to be trying to do. Eso es lo que vamos a estar tratando de hacer. Okay, first, let's see. Ya tengo un pequeño grupo. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Listen, escuchen. My name is Douglas Arevalo. I am from uh, San Martin, and I am 41 years old, okay? So, let's see. I just told you, uh, my name, my name is Lazarevalo. I am... 41 years old and I am from San Martin. That's San Salvador. Okay? Okay. If you look in the chat, si usted ven la burbujita de chat, les acabo de enviar un chat a todos. Where you got exactly what I just told you. Donde tienen exactamente lo que les acabo de decir. Okay? So, you see, it's very, very simple. Okay. So, if you can see, it's very, very simple. Hi, my name is Douglas Arevalo. I am 41 years old. I am from San Martin. Miss Karen Alejandra, please introduce yourself. Preséntese. Hi, my name is Karen. Um, I am... Uh, 26 years old. I'm from San Salvador. Perfect, Karen. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Walter Alexander, please do it. Hi, my name is Walter Arana. I am from East Armenia. I am 30, 70 years old. 36? 36? Yes. Perfect. 36. Excellent. Excellent. With those numbers, remember, guys, con esos números recordemos, algunas personas pronuncian 30, algunas personas pronuncian 30. Both are correct. Ambas son, corre son correctas. Okay? Like in my case, I say 30, but a lot of people say 30, and it's completely correct. Both are accepted, both are okay. Ambas son correctas. Thank you very much, Walter. Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla, please introduce yourself. My name is Mauricio Quintanilla. I'm 41 old. I'm from San Jacinto. Excellent. 41 years old. Remember, years old. Thank you, Mauricio. Susana Hernandez, your turn now, please. Oh, 
Oops, I think we're having problems with your connection, Susana. Sí, Susana Hernández. Hello. Hola. Oh. Hey, there you are. Please introduce yourself. My name is Susana Hernández. Perfect. I am, um, uh -huh, I have 37 years old. I am. I am 37, 37 years old. Perfect. 37 years old. I am from Delgado City. Where? Oh, Delgado City. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, Susana. Vanessa Quintanilla, it's your turn. Uh, my name is Vanessa Quintanilla. I am 39 years. Okay. I am from San Bartolo. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we are neighbors. Somos vecinos. That's very close. Thank you, Vanessa. Sonia Mabel, please introduce yourself. Hello, Sonia. Activate your microphone. Hello, hello. No, we cannot hear. Now we do. Ahora, ahora. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. My name is Sonia Lazo. I am 39 years old. I am from San Salvador. Excellent. Thank you very much, Miss Lazo. Uh, Mr. Vladimir Antonio, please. Hello. Good evening. My name is Vladimir Antonio Martinez. I am 46 years old. I am from Ilopango. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, Indiana Maria. Hello, my name is Indiana Doña. I am 32 years old. I'm from San Salvador. Okay, 32 years old. Perfect. Thank you very much. Amparo de Molina, please. Good night, me escuchan. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. My name is Amparo de Molina. I am 29 years old. I am from Lourdes. Thank you very much, Miss Molina. Uh, Mr. Edwin Daniel, please. Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Edwin Sevillano. Uh, I am... 34 years old. I am from Soyapango. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Sandra Sarabia, please introduce yourself. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Hello. I am 32 years old. Hola, okay. me escuchan. Yes, yes. My name is Sandra Sarabia. I am 32 years old. I am from Santa Ana. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Miss. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana Claribel. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Roxana Perez. I am from San Jacinto. I am 36 years old. 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 Old, old. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mr. Hugo Arevalo, you are last. Good night. I know. Oops, I think we're having problems. Okay, I lost. Mr. Arevalo, what about, uh, we got uh, Walter over there, let's see. Well, 
No problem, no problem. Okay, now, something that I will be doing every class. I que voy a estar haciendo cada clase. Uh, I need to take the attendance. So, when I say the attendance, I will say your name and I need you to please say out loud present, okay? Cuando yo pase la asistencia, voy a mencionar su nombre y necesito que se escuche cuando usted dicen present, okay? Si no lo escucho, voy a repetir su nombre. Esto es porque eh, la clase se graba, okay? Y debe de quedar en la grabación. So, let's do it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, let's see. Right now, I'm going to take the attendance. And let's see. Vladimir Antonio Martinez Molina. Present. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, Antonia Elizabeth Mendez de Altamirano. No here. Amparo Yajaira Meléndez de Molina. Present. Thank you. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present. Thank you, Hugo. Walter Josué Ruiz Ayala. Present. Thank you, Mr. Just give me a second. I need to fix this. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, Walters uh, present. And Karen Alejandra Flores Lopez. Present. Thank you, Karen. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. No. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. I think not here. And Sonia Mabel Lazo Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Walter Emerson Piche Delgado. No. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Indiana de Jesús Obando Lozano. Let's check it out. Uh, Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Yanira Moreno de Sarabia. Present. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present. Thank you. Indiana María Doña Estrada. Present. Thank you. Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present. Perfect. So let's see, let's see. Veamos. Uh, any newcomer a quien no he mencionado? Alguno de ustedes no mencioné? No. Okay, there must be 15. Just let me check, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm missing someone. Me falta uno. Let's check who is it. Me falta una persona. Hay alguien acá que no... Eh... Mm, okay. Oh, they're perfect. Teacher. Yes. Ivania Rodriguez, present. Okay, that's why Ivania, Ivania, Ivania. Let's see, Ivania, Ivania Rodriguez. Yes. Mm, Yanira, Esa, Lepelin. Mm. 
What is your full name, Ivania? ¿Cuál es su nombre completo, Ivania? Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Ok, permítame que no me la han incluido en mi listado. Tengo que arreglar eso. Solo un segundo, guys. I'm so sorry. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez, me dijo, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Now I just reported something here so they can fix it at the office. Okay, let's continue now. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry for the problem. Perdón por el problemita. But let's continue. Okay. Who had a question for me? Susana, you had a question, right? Susana tenía una pregunta yes. para mí. Yes, tell me, please, Susana. Sí, en español. Yeah, no <laughs> problem, no problem, no problem. You ask. Okay, vaya. Eh, esto me recordó mucho este, cuando estaba en la escuela. Que, que era la presentación, pero me quedó la duda con la edad, porque en toda la historia para mí ha sido I have, Oops. tantos yeah. años, entonces aquí era I am, entonces me confundí con el, Perfect. con eso, entonces okay. si no sabía si era una trampa o... o no, 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 what, o, is, what happened is this, look, actually languages, lo que sucede es esto, realmente idiomas, you cannot completely translate, un idioma realmente no se traduce directamente. What you do is that, uh, lo que hacemos es interpretar. There are words that transmit the same idea as other words in the other language. Hay palabras que transmiten la misma idea que otra palabra de otro lenguaje. ¿Ok? Esto se llama cell phone. ¿Ok? Y se llama cell phone. En inglés ese es su nombre. Y decimos nosotros, tenemos la costumbre de decir, se traduce. No, realmente no se traduce. El equivalente en español que nosotros tenemos para la idea que transmite la, idea, la palabra cell phone es teléfono celular. Ese es el equivalente en español. Esas dos palabras, teléfono celular, transmiten la misma idea que en inglés las palabras cell phone. Es un equivalente. Volviendo a lo nuestro. Eh, comprendo su, su confusión porque nosotros en español decimos, yo tengo, yo tengo 41 años de edad, ¿verdad? Y nos enseñaron que tener es el verbo have, ¿verdad? Entonces, obviamente, usted dice, quiero ver, I, yo, tener, have, tengo, and that's it, ¿no? Y así sería, I have, y eso sería lo correcto. Lo que sucede acá es esto, en inglés, las la frase que transmite la misma idea que nosotros transmitimos en español cuando decimos, yo tengo tantos años de edad, es I am. I am 41 years old. Y no se parece en nada, porque estoy diciendo, si usted quiere traducir literalmente cada palabra, dice, yo soy 41 años viejo. So, it doesn't make sense. Realmente no tendría sentido. So, remember... In, with some expressions, it's like that. I mean, some expressions, I will need you for you to go further. Try not to analyze them. Para algunas expresiones, yo les voy a avisar cuando. Para poder avanzar, les voy a pedir que no las analicen. I mean, this is going to be like going to church. This is a, going to be an act of faith. Aquí me van a hacer como cuando vamos a la iglesia. Esto va a ser un acto de fe. Algunas cosas, just believe them. Algunas cosas solo créanmelas. It's going to be easier for you. Because, I mean, there are some things that if I start explaining to you, they will get too confusing. 
algunas cosas, si me pongo a explicárselas, se van a volver demasiado confusas. And I understand that our edge is very common that we try to analyze things. That's normal, that's human nature. Y yo entiendo de que ya a nuestras edades, pasamos de los 18, 19, 20 años, eh, el proceso del desarrollo cognitivo es distinto, and we try to analyze. Tratamos de analizar. In order to understand. Para entender, but here we are going to go slowly, okay? And some things we are going to analyze, and some things we are not going to analyze, okay? Because it's not necessary. Y algunas cosas no las vamos a analizar porque no es necesario, or because you are going to analyze them and cover them in next levels. O algo otras cosas porque ustedes las van a ver en diferentes niveles, niveles más avanzados. Entonces lo puedo confundir si en este nivel le, me explayo mucho en una explicación de algún punto a veces gramatical. ¿Okay? En algunas cosas me voy a quedar cortito, pero yo les voy a decir el porqué, ¿ok? No se preocupen, no es que lo voy a dejar en el aire. Cuando suceda algo así, yo les digo, ok, aquí no se preocupen, lo van a ver más adelante. Y si es necesario, pues yo les explico, les doy un avance si lo necesitamos para la actividad que estamos realizando. But it's good, it's perfect that you always ask. Pero sí, por favor. Any doubt? Please, ask them. Pero ahí sí, por favor. Cualquier dudita que tengan, por chiquita que sea, háganla. Okay, the idea is, for, is here for everybody to participate, to learn, to understand. La idea es para que todos participen, aprendan, entiendan. Okay, something that you must be aware of. Algo de lo que tienen que estar eh, un poquito consciente is that I speak a little bit fast. Yo, speak, yo hablo un poquito rápido. ¿Ok? So, if sometimes you feel that I am going too fast, si a veces sentimos que voy demasiado rápido, please, ask me to stop or to slow down. Pídanme que, que le baje un poquito, ¿ok? I mean, that's, that's normal. I've been speaking the language for so many years. For me, it's natural. ¿Ok? I can slow down. Yo voy a bajar la velocidad. No the level of vocabulary no el nivel de vocabulario, ¿ok? The vocabulary that I use every day in my English speaking is going to be con, to continue the same. El tipo de vocabulario que yo utilizo en mi hablar diario en inglés va a ser el mismo. I'm just going to slow down the speed. Solamente voy a bajar la velocidad, ¿ok? I will not explain things in simpler words. No le voy a explicar cosas en palabras demasiado simples. Because the idea is for you to get as many and as much as possible. La idea es que ustedes capten lo más posible, ¿ok? And remember, listening. Now, eh, let's see. If you don't hear me, veamos eh, cómo me escuchan con este micrófono. ¿Nos escuchamos bien? ¿Sí? Ahora voy a probar el segundo. Me dicen, ¿qué tal este? Quiero ver con cuál nos escuchamos mejor. Ok, este es mi segundo micrófono. ¿Cuál escuchamos mejor? ¿El primero o este? ¿El segundo? El segundo. El segundo. Okay, perfect. Excellent. In every class, I'm sorry, but the first ones to get into the class, I'm going to ask you the same favor. Y cada clase, los primeros que se me conecten, les voy a pedir el mismo favor, because, I mean, it's better to have the, better, the best connection possible. So, let's see, guys. We are beginners, and we are going to be working with the, with the manual from InSupport. Just let me check. Okay. Do... Well, they sent, the, they sent the manual to you, right? Todos ustedes recibieron el manual. You can access to it through the, through the platform and you can also, you could also get it from the WhatsApp group. Creo que pueden accederlo a través de la plataforma y también del grupo de WhatsApp. They send them to you today. But every class, if you, if you can print it, is even better, That's, that would be perfect. Si pueden imprimirlo, es todavía mejor. Okay? But if not, uh, I am going to be projecting the sections that we are going to be using. For today, we are going to work with page numbers 9 and 10. Okay? Tomorrow we get page uh, 11 and 12. We're going to be covering around two pages per day. Vamos a ir cubriendo alrededor de dos páginas del manual por clase, but we are going to be adding something else. Pero le vamos a ir agregando algo más. Okay. Okay.
let's see, I'm sorry. Sorry for that, but we solved that problem. And let's start, guys. I'm sorry for the delay. Eh, lo lamento mucho por el retraso, pero ahora sí, we're going to go right to the information. So let me see. We are going to do this and okay. You can see it, right? Podemos verlo, ¿verdad? Yes. Student's manual, beginner. Okay, this is your manual. Este es su manual. We are in module one, and this is National English for Work Program, El Salvador. Okay, this is the book you got. Uh, you got here the, the objective, okay? That uh, actually is for you to get, to speak English, summarizing. Resumiendo la idea es que aprendamos. Okay, the first unit, we are going to talk about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. That's going to be between today and tomorrow, but we are going to be working on page number nine, okay? This is for us right now. Page number nine, I will be able to talk about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. So let's start. Think about some positions that people can find at your workplace. This is what we are going to do first. And just give me a second, okay? Oops, I'm sorry. Just a little second, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's continue. I was sharing with you. Okay, so the positions that people can find at your workplace also mention yours. But okay, let's see. Think. When they tell us think, think, pensar, think about some positions. Vamos a pensar acerca de positions, occupations that people have in your in your company. Okay? So let's just see. I'm sorry, Karen, you are the first on my screen. Usted es la primera en mi pantalla, so Karen, Alejandra, you're going to be first. Tell me, Karen, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabaja? I work this act. Okay. And could you tell me the some positions, some occupations that are there? That you know in English, podría decirme algunas ocupaciones o posiciones que hay dentro de esa. In English, that you know? No, realmente. What about, uh, what do you do? Mm. Okay, look at this question. Look in the chat. What do you do? Cuando nos hagan esta pregunta, what do you do? They are asking about your occupation. Let's see, Karen, ask me that question, please. Ask me the question. Hágame la última pregunta que he escrito ahí. What do you do? Oh, I am an English teacher. You see? Ah, okay. Okay, so Karen, what do you do? I am assistant de importaciones. Okay, perfect. So you're an assistant. Okay, tell me, what's your boss position? ¿Cuál es la posición de su jefe? Coordinadora de importaciones. Ok. He is a coordinator. Now you look, coordinator. Need to look up the word importaciones. Tiene que buscarme la palabra importaciones. It's simple. Imports. Ok. Import <laughs> coordinator. You are the imports assistant. Or the imports coordinator assistant. Simple. You see? Okay, okay, let's see. Thank you very much, Karen. Vanessa, what about you, Vanessa? Tell me, what do you do, Vanessa? Uh, what you do is cajera. I am a cashier. I am uh, a cashier. Uh -huh. Repeat cashier. with me. Repita conmigo. I am. I am. A cashier. A cashier. Cashier. 
Perfect. Did you see in the chat? I typed it for you. Si revisan el chat, se lo puse. I am a cashier. Where do you work? Uh, where do you work, uh, Isaac? Okay, I work Isaac. O yes. puede decir, I work at Isaac. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much, I... Vanessa. Okay. Let's see, let's see who else is going to be. Vladimir Antonio Martinez. Hello, mister. Where Hello. do you work? Where do you work, Vladimir? I will. I work at Banco Central de Reserva. Oh, or really? Central Bank. Oh, that's money. Okay, tell me, what do you do at Banco Central de Reserva? Oh, well, I am a security specialist. Okay. Oh, so we got to be careful with you. <laughs> Vamos a tener no, no, I'm not Okay, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Could you tell me the name of some of the positions that are there in English? Podría decirme las cosas. Uh, we'll try. Uh, there is the manager. Manager, perfect. Uh, that's seniors. Excelente. Seniors, perfect. Seniors. And specialists. Okay. Analysts. Analyst. And assistants. And uh, right. what else? Well, that's enough. Yeah. Don't worry. That's enough. That's okay. enough. Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's that's see. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see another boy, Walter. Hello, Walter Alexander. Hello. Hello, Walter. Where do you work, mister? Donde trabaja? Um, uh, I um, work in CLT. Okay, and what do you do? It's contador. An accountant. Oh, that's yes. nice. Accountant. I like this word. An accountant. So you are, you have to tell me, I am an accountant. Okay? I am an accountant. Perfect. Thank you. So uh, you work with numbers. Uh, I'm not good at numbers. Well, thank you very much. Let's see, Susana, Susana Hernandez. Hello, Susana. Hello. Tell me, Susana, uh, where do you work? I am working in Pai Laboratories. Where? Pai Laboratories. Okay, and what do you do? I am a seller service manufacturing. Okay, well, sales serving? So a seller manufacturing service. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, interesting, yes. very interesting. So. It's nice. Yeah, don't worry that at, at the end of this course, well, not at the end. Very soon you are going to be describing your activities to me. Muy pronto me la van a estar describiendo what you do. Thank you very much, Susana. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Elwin Daniel Sevillano, please, mister, tell me, where do you work? Elwin, hello. Hello. Tell me, mister, uh, where do you work? Uh, I'm working uh, CLT. Okay, and what uh, do you do there? GPS monitor. Oh, really? That's nice. It's a little bit technical. Excellent. That's excellent. Well done. Thank you very much, mister. Now, let's see who's going to be next. Who's going to be next? Next one is going to be, well, it's, it's been boys. Uh, now, girls. Sandra Sarabia. Hello, Mills. Hello. Tell me, Sandra, where do you work? I am work in legal office. Okay. Oh, and what do you do? Me ayuda, no sé cómo se dice. Esto de cómo? Oh, uh, no. Mm, mm, mm. Give me a second. I know that expression. Ven un segundo. Yo conozco esa palabra. I know it. Let me check in my... Ah, uh, yeah, I know what you do. It's a, uh, it's, it's actually in English. It's it's a type of manager. It's collection, mm -hmm. collection, collection manager. Gestor de cobros is a collection manager. I will write it I in the collection. Collection. Manager. Because in English, collect, collect is 
la pala el verbo collect es cuando usted va y va recogiendo algo que la otra persona debe entregar o necesita dar. So that's why it's collection manager. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Now, thank you very much, Sandra. Let's thank see. You. Who else? Who else? I got more boys. Let's see. Who else is here? Uh, Walter Ruiz. Hello, Walter. Hello. Hello. Okay, Walter, tell me, where do you work? I work in uh, CLT. Okay, and what do you do there? Um, GPS monitoring. Oh, GPS monitor. Oh, the same as who else? Who was it? Uh, was it Edwin? Yes. Edwin. Yes. Okay, so you are co-workers. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Do you know this word, guys? Conocemos esta palabra, co-workers. That's a compañero de trabajo. Now we are going to do an exercise, guys. Uh, if you see, I've been doing the just two questions. Where do you work and what do you do? Very simple. And you have been answering in English. Okay? Preguntas muy simples y me las han estado contestando en inglés. Right now we are going to do our first team activity. Okay? Vamos a hacer nuestra primera actividad grupal. I am going to divide you in small groups, groups of three members. And you are going to ask your classmates those two questions. Y usted le va a preguntar a su compañero esas dos preguntas. Where do you work? What do you do? Okay? Do you understand the activity? ¿Entendemos la actividad? Remember, it's asking and answering. Okay? If you can take notes, perfect. Si podemos tomar nota, like you write the name, escribe el nombre, and you write the profession or the occupation, okay? That would be excellent. So right now I am going to create the groups. Let me see. I need to create groups of three participants and the groups are created right now. Okay, guys, we're going to get an invitation to join the breakout room. Le va a aparecer una invitación para unirse a los breakout room. Please click on it, hit it. Evelyn Patricia, oh, Evelyn is there, Walter Alexander Arana, is not there yet. Okay, everybody is in the group. Hello, ladies. Hi. Okay, Karen, you did it with Hello, me. Sir. So for you, it's easy. Para usted es fácil, Karen. Ya lo hizo conmigo. So you can ask Evelyn now. Puede preguntarle a Evelyn. Evelyn, where do you work? Um, Uy, ah, no, aquí está. Vamos Aquí sí lo tiene, yo no lo tengo. Ah, ok. Apareció una hora me escuchando, me dice. Ok, ok. Eh, no tiene activo, eh, desactiva el micrófono, Indiana. Tiene inhabilitado el, el micrófono. Le acabo ¿Sí? de mandar un mensajito para que, que le va a aparecer una pantalla donde le estamos pidiendo que active el micrófono. Ah, gracias, Isabel. Cuando no le di este si no... que iba a ingresar aquí, se me cerró la otra. Así es. Yep. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Don't worry, don't worry. If not, Indiana, no, no, no. if you cannot communicate, don't worry. You can just listen and perhaps in the other room you we can fix it. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, I'll be back. Okay. Hi, Roxanne. Hi. Uh, what do you work? I work to legal office. All right. 
right. Uh, what do you do, Roxanne? Collection manager. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Edwin. Hi, uh, Walter. What do you work? Where Where do you work? Where, where do you work? Uh, where? I'm working CLT. <laughs> at CLT. At. I'm, at. At. Perfect. I'm working, working at, at CLT. Perfect. That's it. What do you do, Edwin? Hello, guys. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Vladimir. Tell me, where did you study English before? Uh, well, I studied English at WUCA, but in 1994. Well, but you have been practicing because you still got the accent. Uh, well, thank you, but not very well. Okay, tell me, what, which level did you get to? Hasta que nivel uh, you? Un, until level eight. Okay. Yeah. So, but you keep practicing? No, no much. Teacher. Not much. Well, no. don't worry. This is going to be easy. The first levels are going to be piece of cake. Los primeros niveles lo vas a sentir super fáciles. Okay. But okay. I'll... And tell me, did you ask already, Mauricio? Ya me le pregunté. Yes. Okay. Yes. Please, Vladimir, tell me about Mauricio. Well, Mauricio Where does he work? work? He works at the uh, Isaac. Okay. And what does he do? And he is a flooring coordinator. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. And what about Hugo? Are you having problems with well, Hugo's connection? Uh, yes, uh, the video consumes a lot of bandwidth. Yeah, I know, I know. Video is like that. Okay, guys, in, in two minutes, we are going back to the main room. I will send you a message about that, okay? Okay. Let me go check another group. Hello, guys. Finish? Hello? Yes. Okay, perfect, yes. perfect. We are going to go back in 60 seconds. In 60 seconds, vamos de regreso, okay? De acuerdo. Okay, almost everybody's back. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let me just check who's still there. Oh, there's still one group there. Todavía hay un grupo que está por ahí. Okay, but while they come, because they're going to be coming soon, very soon, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vladimir Antonio, tell me, who do you work with? ¿Con quiénes trabajó? Uh, well, I work with Hugo and Mauricio. Okay, what can you tell me about them? ¿Qué podría decirme de ellos? Okay, well, Hugo works at Logistic and Transporte, and he, he is, yes. or he does? He is. He is a, a control de flota, flat okay. control. Okay, flood control. Perfect, thank you. And what about Mauricio? And Mauricio works at DSAC. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't remember, what does he do? Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. Vladimir, please ask Mauricio, what does he do? Uh, Mauricio, uh, excuse me, tell me again, what, what do you do? I am, I am shopping coordinator. Okay, okay. shopping coordinator. Okay, that's Thanks excellent. A lot. Thank you very much. Thanks both of you. 
Excellent. Now let's see. Uh, Miss Sonia Mabel, please, would you mind asking the two questions to Vanessa Quintanilla? Hágamele las preguntas a Vanessa Quintanilla, por favor. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Where do you work, Vanessa? Uh, where do you work, Disac? I work at Disac. I work, I work at Disac. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I do cashier. I am a cashier. Okay. I am a cashier. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay. Please, okay. Amparo, ask Edwin Daniel. Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello. Where do you work? Uh, I'm working at CLT. What do you do? Uh, GPS monitor. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you both of you. Now, let's see. Let's see. Walter. Walter, please ask Hello. Ms. Ivania Rodriguez. Ivania, where do you work? Hello. I work at CRT Free Transport. Mm, what do you do? Uh, I am logistics coordinator. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is going to be doing it. Susana Hernandez, please ask the questions to Karen Alejandra. Hey, hi. Hi. Hi, Karen. Where do you work? I work at Isaac. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I'm in process. Assistance. Assistance. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Both of you. Now, Indiana Maria, you are going to ask Indiana Obando. Wow. I got two Indianas here. That's nice. Hello, Miss Obando. Let's see if she can Oops, activate. Indiana. Mm. What did you war? I'm sorry, ella no tiene activado el micrófono. Oh, now it is. Hi, Indiana. Where do you work? Miss Obando? Mm, I think we cannot hear it. Oh, yeah, she was having problems. No problem. Indiana, please, don't worry. Ask exactly the same questions to Mr. Walter Ruiz. Okay. Hi, Walter. Where do you work? I work in CLT. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, GPS monitoring. Thank you. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, just let me see if the people from the Support can help Indiana. Okay. Perfect. I just made the report. Ya hicimos el reporte. Let's help, make and help her. Esperemos que le puedan ayudar. So she can participate. So let's see. If you see, this is very simple. Who's missing? Who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? ¿Quién me falta? Mauricio Quintanilla, have you, do, have you done it yet? Yeah, you did it with uh, Vladimir, right? Sí, me trabajó con Vladimir. Uh, let's see. Hugo Arevalo. Where did you go, Hugo? Where are you? Hugo Arevalo, please. Could you Hello. do that? 
Could you do the activity with uh, Roxana Claribel? Can you ask Roxana, Hugo? Me le puede preguntar a Roxana. Can you hear me now? Hi, Roxana. Oh, oh perfect. I think it's not working, Roxana. Okay, don't worry. Uh, ask me. Pregúnteme a mí. Uh, what do you do in... Okay. No, no, no. What do you do in... No. What do you do? Okay, what do you do? Oh, I am... Uh, I am an English teacher. The next question. Okay. Uh, do you work? Okay. Well, oh, that's complicated. I work for the Ministry of Education at the public school. Trabajo para el Ministerio de Educación en una escuela pública. I work part time. Um, well, sometimes I work for Colegio Garcia Flamenco, and I work also for the part-time, sometimes for Seattle Bosco, and I work for English Corporativo, so I got four different jobs. Tengo cuatro distintos, so I move around a lot. I move mucho. Thank you. If you see, the exercise was very simple. And did you notice that you are speaking in English? ¿Nos dimos cuenta que estamos hablando en inglés? Asking and answering. Most conversations go like that. La mayor parte de las conversaciones son así. Ask and answer. Preguntar y responder. That's simple. I mean, actually, when you're speaking, you can just do it with three different expressions. You can, you can be answering. You can be speaking in an affirmative form, in negative form, and interrogative form. As simple as that. Now, let's go check another exercise. Okay? Give me a second. Let me check something. Okay. I'm going to share with you part of the manual so we can work with the manual also. Okay. See, guys? And I got it right here. Okay. Now, the second exercise says, listen to your teacher read the following occupations. Then check which ones, which people work at your workplace, okay? We have here, just listen, please. Just listen. Maintenance. Maintenance. Supervisor. Engineer. Engineer. Floor manager. Truck driver, truck driver, secretary. These are very common positions, right? Maintenance, supervisor, engineer, floor manager, truck driver, secretary. Very, very simple, okay? So, if you see, these are very, very simple words. So, I want you to please, right there where you are, you don't need to open the microphone. No necesitan abrir el micrófono. But, I want you to please, first time, just listen to me. Primero solo escuchen, okay? Maintenance, supervisor, engineer, floor manager, truck driver, secretary. Now, what I want you to do is, Without opening the microphone, sin necesidad de abrir el micrófono, I need you to repeat right there where you are. Ahí donde están, en casa. Okay? Hello. Maintenance. 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 Okay? Maintenance. Next one. Supervisor. Supervisor. Next, engineer, engineer, 
engineer. Okay. Now, next one is going to be for us floor manager. Floor manager. Floor manager. Okay. And next one is going to be truck driver. Truck. Truck driver. Truck. Now, in this case, in a couple of days, we are going to see the letters. I don't know. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, creo que el miércoles, si no me equivoco, vamos a ver el alfabeto, okay? And I'm going to tell you about how to, how to mouth some words, some letters. Le voy a enseñar cómo vocalizar algunas letras. That's, that's different in English than in Spanish, like the letter R, como el sonido de la R, is very, very different. Es muy diferente. El Z, Z, okay? B and V, but we are going to be working with that. Now I need you just to say with me, truck, truck, driver, truck, okay? Truck, perfect. And then we got secretary, secretary. Okay, now, we are going to be working with the verb B, okay? But before that, to get again the attendance. As I told you before, I need to check the attendance again. Voy a tomar la asistencia nuevo. It's 9 p.m. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Vladimir Antonio Martinez, say present, please. Present. Thank you. Antonia Elizabeth Mendez de Altamirano. No. Amparo Yajaira Meléndez de Molina. Present. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present. Thank you. Walter Josué Ruiz Ayala. Is Jose. Walter Jose. Okay. Perfect. I will take note of that. Let me see where's my agenda. Sorry. Walter Jose. Okay, because I need to report this, mister. Okay, thank you very much. And Karen Alejandra Flores? Present. Thank you. Vanessa del Pilar? Present. Thank you. Yanira del Carmen Paz? De Salazar? No, Yanira? No. No here. Okay. Now let's see. And let's see, let's see. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuella. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Walter Emerson Piche Delgado. Let's see. No Walter Emerson. No. No, I got Walter Ruiz. Okay, guys. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro Lopez. Indiana de Jesus Obando Lozano. Oh, the problem with the speaking. I know, I know. Don't worry, Indiana. Susana Carolina Hernandez Siraeta. Present. Thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Present. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. I could swear I have Sandra. Podría jurar que tuve Sandra. Oh, yes. There you are, Sandra. Stay present. Hi, teacher. Sandra, we ha, uh, I have problem with the connection internet. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank you. That is there. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present. Thank you. Indiana Maria Doña Estrada. Present. 
Walter Alexander Arana Cortez? Present. Okay, perfect. Now let's continue, guys. Okay, the verb be. The verb be is very simple. Vamos a trabajar con el verbo más conocido. Okay. It's weird, no? Whenever they are teaching us English, donde quiera que usted le enseñaron inglés, the first verb you saw was the verb be. El primer verbo que le enseñaron fue el be, ¿verdad? El verbo ser o estar. And why is it that important, that verb? Oh, because that's a very, very special verb. ¿Por qué es tan importante? Porque es muy especial. It's pretty, pretty special. How so? Así que es especial. Well, the verb be, first of all, it's an irregular verb. Es un verbo irregular. Okay. Uh, when you conjugated it, it changes. Cuando lo conjugamos, va cambiando. Okay. It's in that way is the closest to how the verbs in Spanish behave. En ese sentido es el más cercano a cómo se comportan los verbos en español, you know? Because in Spanish, the verbs change. Like the verb comer. Yo como, tú comes. Cambió. Él come. Nosotros comemos. So you see, in Spanish it's changing. But the verb be in English, it's, as I told you, very special. Because we have I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, it's singular, plural. Like you, all the group, are in class. Or you, just one, are in class. Then we have uh, they are, as I told you, it's a group. So for the affirmative form, we have. Affirmative, negative, interrogative form in simple present. Simple present. We have am, um, is, and are. The verb got three variations. El verbo tiene tres variaciones. Okay? Am, um, is, are. And I'm going to show it to you. Se las voy a poner en una presentación. Okay? Let's check it out. Let me know if you can see it clear. Me hacen saber si lo pueden ver bien. Ok. Ok. Let's see. I prepared this presentation for you guys. A ver, preparamos esto para ustedes. Ok. There you go. Beginner one. Class one. The verb to be present simple. Ok. Affirmative, we are talking about in the affirmative form. Look, I am Robert. I am with my family. I'm American. If you can see, I am, this is the verb be, am, the one that is in red. Lo que está en rojito es el verbo ser estar. Am. So, I am Robert. I am with my family. I'm American. It will be something like, I am Douglas, I am in a class, I am Salvadorian, okay? I means yo. And the, the structure, the verb be, conjugated with I is am. El verbo solo estar, si usted lo conjuga con yo, es am, okay? And it means, if you listen, I am Douglas, yo soy Douglas. I am with you. I am in class. Yo estoy en clase. So that's something different with the verb be. The verb be got two different meanings. El verbo ser estar tiene dos significados. Further, you're going to see that one of those meanings is also an auxiliary. Más adelante vamos a ver de que uno de esos significados también funciona como auxiliar. And even when, we, when you get to advance, y aun cuando me lleguen a los cursos avanzados, you are going to discover something more about the verb be. Vamos a descubrir otro uso del verbo ser. So it's going to be interesting. Let's continue. Esto va a estar interesante. Okay. We were talking just I. Now. We have another one. You. 
You are my friend. You are a good boy. Very simple, no? The second person, you, tú. You are my friend. You are a good boy. So if you can see here in red also the verb be. Now, remember, the first one is the full form. The second one is the contractile form. This is the contractile form. And if you listen to the pronunciation, you are my friend, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Okay? Now, the next one, he. Again, look, the verb be changes. So we saw am, I am, are, you are. Now is, he is Fred. This is a verb. He is my dad. He is Fred. He is my dad. Listen again. He is Fred. He is my dad. Okay? She. She is Rose. She is my mom. She is Rose. She is my mom. That is a dog. It's, it is a dog. It's my pet. Okay? Now, here there's something that I want to let very, very clear. Aquí hay algo que quiero que les quede muy claro. Because you are going to be analyzing a little bit of grammar in the, all these courses. Van a analizar un poquito de gramática en todos estos cursos. Whenever they tell you third person, of the singular, siempre que le digan tercera persona del singular. And I'm going to type it to you in the group chat, okay? Third person singular. Whenever they tell you this, okay, let's see. Can you see it? Siempre. What about now? Can you hear me better? ¿Me escuchan mejor? I think the signal is giving really bad problems. La señal como que nos está dando malos problemas, ¿verdad? Ok. Se escucha mejor. Ok, perfecto. So, whenever you have the third person singular, siempre que le digan tercera persona el singular, estamos hablando de él, ella, o de un objeto, o de un animal. It, ok. He, she, or it. Eso es tercera persona del singular. Always, always remember that. Third person singular, he, she, it. ¿Ok? Because you are going to analyze it with simple present. Lo van a analizar con el presente simple. Uh, some variations that get the verbs. Algunas variaciones que tienen los verbos solo, el presente simple, afirmativo, tercera persona al singular. ¿Ok? Así que siempre que le digan tercera persona al singular, usted no se complique. Él, ella o esa. De eso están hablando. ¿Ok? Now, let's continue. Let's continue because we are still going with the verb be. Let me share with you. Ok. We, nosotros, we are friends. We're at school. We are friends. We're at school. Listen again. We are friends. We're at school. And the last one. Oh, you and your friends, plural, look, plural, you. Two. And your friends, this is plural, are students. Are students. Acá le está diciendo de que está hablando en plural. ¿Ok? En la palabra que viene después del verbo. You are a student. One. You are students. Ustedes son estudiantes. This word tells us that this is the plural. ¿Ok? You're cool. You're nice. Let's see the next one. They are Nancy and Maggie. They are Nancy and Maggie. They are my sisters. They are Nancy and Maggie. They are my sisters. I am. I am. Oops. You 
you are, your. He is, he's. She is, she's. It is, it's. We are, we're. You are, you're. They are, they're. Okay, now, let's remember. I am, I'm. You are, you're. He is, he's. She is, she's. It is, it's. We are, we're. You are, you're. They are, they're. Okay? Simple, very simple. Now, I'm going to, a little bit here. Questions up to you? Preguntas hasta acá? Yes? No? Any question? Any doubt? Alguna duda? Ideas? Receipt? Una receta? Something? Comments? Nothing? Okay, let's continue then. Remember, I am, yo, you are, ¿ves? he, she, or it, third person, tercera persona, singular, okay? He, él, she, ella, it, lo usamos para referirnos a un objeto, un animal, algo, okay? Like, it rains, llueve, it rains, okay? Now, we, we, nosotros. Okay. Again appears you. De nuevo aparece you. But as I told you, everything changes when we check the word after you. After the verb are. Todo cambia cuando verificamos cuál es la palabra que, que viene despuesito del verbo. You are a student. You are one student. Singular, ¿no? En este caso el you es Tú y el R es eres. Now, listen. You are students. Plural. Le metí una S al final. You are students. En este caso cambió la cosa. Ya no es tú ni usted. Es ustedes. ¿Ok? You are students. Ustedes son estudiantes. You are in class right now. All of you. Todos ustedes. Are in class, están in class. And then, and then we have they. Luego tenemos ellos. Okay? They are attention. Ellos están teniendo atención. Very simple. Questions? Preguntas? No? Okay, let's continue. That's cool. Excelente. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. Antes, eh, por cierto, yo voy proyectando una, una presentación. ¿Podemos verla? ¿La distinguimos bien? ¿Sí? Ok, porque a veces, dependiendo cómo se la señala, a veces tenemos problemas con las presentaciones. Cuando eso sucede, ustedes me avisan, and what I will do is take a picture and send it to the group. Ok. Cuando por quizás tengamos problemas por señal o algo así, a veces por el clima, viento, lluvia, no hay problema. Ustedes me avisan, yo le tomo una foto y se las mando por el grupo. So you can be watching at the same time that I am explaining. Así ustedes lo pueden ver al mismo tiempo que yo lo explico, ¿ok? Communication, guys. Let me know. Díganme. Perfect. Let's continue. Teacher. Yes. Uh, algunas imágenes del, del folleto de inglés corporativo se ven un poco borrosas, no se leen bien. Oh, no sé si solo okay. yo puedo verlas así o los demás compañeros tienen problemas para leerlas perfectamente. Vaya, pero ahí el programa, realmente ese es el programa de Insafor. Uh -huh. El programa que el manual que Insafor nos da. Ese se les envió en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Lo que puede hacer es abrirlo directamente del grupo y yo le, siempre les menciono cuál es la página del manual que vamos utilizando, ¿ok? Y cuál ah, es el okay. Lo puede ver desde ahí. Thank you. Ok, perfecto. Eh, lo que me preguntaba Sonia, 
eh, in private, ¿ok? Me lo pregunta en privado luego, más tardecito, y yo veo cómo le ayudo. ¿vale? Perfect, I'm sorry. Perdón, no te pasa. Let's continue. Sorry, not this. Because, ok, we were in this, remember, let me see. That was affirmative. Esto era afirmativo. Remember, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. I'm, your, his, she's, it's, we're, you're, they're. Okay, now, let's continue. Look, this is negative. I am not from Britain. I am not British. Okay, I'm not. If you see the structure, the idea changes. I am not from Britain. I'm not. British. Look, she is not Rose. She isn't my mom. Look now, we are not from Mexico. We aren't Mexican. I am not. Remember? I am not. I'm not. You, you are not. You aren't. He is not. He is not. He isn't. She is not. She is not. She isn't. It is not. It is not. It isn't. Now, here. Cuando tenemos una palabra que termina con T y la palabra que viene a continuación inicia con una vocal, podemos unir estos dos sonidos y el sonido que va a producir es como de una R. Por eso ustedes escuchan que yo digo, it is, it is, it is not, it isn't, it isn't, you see, it is not, it isn't. We are not. We are not, we aren't. You are not. You are not, you aren't. They are not. They are not, they aren't. Now, when we are talking about negative, let me explain something in a different way. Le vamos a explicar algo de una manera diferente, okay? Okay, I'm going to use the board. Okay, when we have uh, something that we are going to work is the structure, okay? In the affirmative form, B, we have first the subject, then we have the verb, and then we have the complement. This is the affirmative form. ¿Lo podemos ver? Yes? Okay, now, the subject. Let's see. In a question, an example could be, I am in class. Then we have another sentence. Look, you are a student. You are a student. Next one, subject, he is my friend, sorry, he is my friend, she, again, is, she is my sister. It is a cat. It is a cat. Then we have we. We are tired. Pues de trabajo, we are tired, cansados, tired. Ok. 
okay? You guys, you are in class right now. You are in class. And they are hungry. Hambrientos. They are hungry. So you see, we have subject, we have verb, we have complement. Okay, the verb be changes to am, is, are. Okay? The verb be changes to am, are, is. You see? This is the variations of the verb be. Now, the subject. In this case, I use pronoun. Okay? A pronoun is a word that can be used instead of a noun. Un pronombre es una palabra que se utiliza en lugar de un nombre. Okay? That's why we have here I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. Why do I have it like this? ¿Por qué lo tengo así? Because perhaps I don't want to use the noun. Porque quizás no quiero utilizar el nombre. That could be the reason. Okay? Now, but this is affirmative form. Remember, this is the structure, the basic structure for the affirmative form. Es en la estructura básica. Subject, verb, complement. Okay? Those are the three elements. Subject, verb, complement. Remember, the subject can be either. Okay? El sujeto puede ser o. A noun or a pronoun, un nombre o un pronombre, okay? What I typed, I sent it to you. Lo que estuve escribiendo se los mandé. So you don't have to, you can focus, okay? And the next part that I'm going to explain, I will do the same. La siguiente parte que voy a explicar, haré lo mismo. Así ustedes se me concentran bien en la pantalla, okay? Okay. Remember, you can say, uh, I can say, hmm, She is a bad student. Yo puedo decir, ella es una mala alumna. Or I can say, Karen is a bad student. Sorry, Karen, you are the, the, the first in the screen. Es la primera de que me quedo ahí en la pantalla, so it's your fault. Okay, so I can say, she is a bad student, or I can say, Karen is. You see, I can either use the noun or the pronoun. O utilizar el nombre o el pronombre. That's the function, okay? I can say, He is very serious, or I can say, él es muy serio, or I can say, Mauricio is very serious. It's like, yeah, very serious. You see? I can either use Mauricio, or I can say, he. Either one is correct. Okay? Cualquiera de ellas es correcto. Usually, when they teach us the, the structure, normalmente cuando no está en la estructura, always, they always use personal. Casi siempre usan pronombres personales. Be careful. Prestemos la atención a eso. Les estoy diciendo, esos son personal pronouns. En unos días vamos a ver otros tipos de pronombres. ¿Ok? Let's continue. Oh, by the way, eh, esta última proyección que hice, que les compartí, lo que iba haciendo, ¿se veía? ¿Se lograba distinguir? Yes. ¿La pizarra? Perfect. Ok. Excellent. Let's continue then with the, with the whiteboard. Because I need to explain. This was affirmative. Now, we are going to the negative. Negative form. The negative form in the structure is a little bit different. Why? Okay, we are going to see why it is a little bit different. The negative form, we have the subject. The verb, okay, let me see, we do it like this, subject plus verb plus, then it comes the not, plus the complement, okay? This is the main, the basic, basic structure. Cuando hablamos de la estructura básica, This is the minimum, ¿ok? Cuando hablamos de la estructura básica, esto es el mínimo. That a sentence can have. 
el mínimo que una oración podría tener. ¿Ok? ¿Qué me hace con...? Yeah, I'm having problems with connection. Now, so what, what would it be for us here? ¿Qué sería para nosotros esto? Very simple. Look, I am not in class. Simple, you see? Bastante simple, ¿verdad? Now, let's see. Uh, the second sentence, Miss Evelyn Patricia Caballero, how would it be? The second sentence is, you are a student. Let's make it negative, please, help me. You are not in okay. uh, an student. You are not a student. Let's see, you are... You are not a student. Very simple, no? It fulfills the structure. Thank you very much, Miss. Now let's see, let's see. Edwin Daniel, please help me with the third one. He is. He is not my friend. He is not. Oops, sorry. He is the subject. Then we have the verb is. Then we have not. And then we my have friend. the complement, my friend. Perfect. Thank you very much, Edwin. Now, Thank let's you. see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Indiana Maria. Please, Indiana, you got the next one. He is. She, the subject. Perfect. Then the verb is. Then Not. Okay. My sister. She's not my sister. Excellent. Thank you very much, miss. Now, next one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla, please help me out with the next one. It is. It is. Not. Okay. It is not. A cat. A cat. Okay, it is not a cat. Perfect, thank you very much, mister. Next one, let's see, Karen, Karen Alejandra, please help me out. We are, we are, are not, we are not, try. tired, tired, we are not tired. tired. Thank you very much, Karen. And he, Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla. No, you help me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ivania Rodriguez, please. You are not in class. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sí, sí, yo sí estoy. Thank you very much, Miss. You are not in class. In class. Perfect. Excellent. And the last one, let's see for whom is the last one. I got uh, mm, 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 mm. Vladimir Antonio Martinez. Please help me with the last one. They are not hungry. They are, are not, not hungry. hungry. Okay, now let's see. Very important is that we can notice that the structure has been fulfilled. Muy importante que nos demos cuenta que la estructura se cumplió. Okay? We can see the structure here. And the structure has been fulfilled. Subject plus verb plus not plus the complement. Okay? Now I am sending to you a picture just of the negative form. And I will send you one with both affirmative and negative together okay so you can check it out 
Okie dokie, guys. Perfect. So, any question up to here? Preguntas? Nope. We cool? We clear? All bien? I know this is very simple. I know this is very simple. Yo sé que esto es muy facilito. And you are like, oh, this is piece of cake. Sé que ustedes están así de que esto está matado de la risa. But remember, we are going to be building up. Vamos construyendo. So steps by step, we are going to make it bigger. Now, we are going to see the structure in a different context. Vamos a ver la estructura de una manera diferente. Let's go back to the manual, okay? Vamos de nuevo al manual, page number 10. So let me share with you, where can I, where? Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We are going back right now to the presentation first. Let's see. No, to the manual, I'm sorry, my bad. Yes, here. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger so you can watch it clearly. Now, remember, affirmative statements, how to use be singular. In this case, we are going to focus just in the singular. Singular statement. I am Natalie, I'm Natalie. You are a secretary, you're a secretary. He is an engineer, he is an engineer. She is a floor manager, she is a floor manager. I am not Natalie, I'm not Natalie. You are not a secretary, you're not a secretary. He is not an engineer, he's not an engineer. She is not a floor manager. She is not a floor manager. Now, look. We are going to complete the sentences using the correct form of B and the occupations in parentheses. Okay? Look at this. We have affirmatives and negative. Okay? We have Alan. We have I, and the second one, we have Michelle, we have my boss, we have he, we have Tina, okay? And we have the occupation. What are we going to do? I'll give you an example. Notice again that some of them are negative. Recordemos que algunas de ellas son negativas, okay? So, what we are going to do is very simple. Complete the following sentences using the correct form of B. La forma correcta del B. And the occupation on parentheses. Okay? Alan. So for Alan, what would it be? Am, um, is, or are? Hello, guys. Help me out. Is. Alan is. is. A truck driver. Perfect. Ah. Alan is a truck driver. Excellent. This is what we are going to do. But how we're going to do it? You are going to do it in short groups. You're going to be working in pairs. You're going to have just one minute to do it. Okay? Solo un minuto. Let's do it together in a small group. I'm going to recreate the groups. Okay? Perfect. Groups are created. Please jump in. Jump in. So what I'm going to do is move Sandra to room number two. And you, Indiana, just wait here, okay?
En día no tenemos problemas con el micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok, don't worry. En su caso, el ejercicio, you can do it just on your own. And if you want, you can send me the answer. Va a ser el ejercicio solo y si quieren me manda la respuesta, ¿ok? I'll be back. Ya regreso. ¿Quiere que complementemos? En yeah. Afirmativo o en negativo. It depends. ¿Ah? Ahí depende de lo que le pide entre paréntesis. Ok. Perfecto. ¿Eh? Um, ¿Compañeros? Yes, everybody can hear you, Sandra. Todos le oímos, Sandra. Hola. We can hear you. Si le oímos. Tengo activo el micrófono. Ok, ok. Le ah. escuchamos. Ah. Hola, ¿me escuchan? ¿Sí ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes. yes. Ah. Perdón, no le dije que no antes. It's not. It's not. Mantenimiento, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Cinco, ¿cuántas eran? Cinco son por todas. Seis. Ay, señor. Y ahí la, la otra es he y abajo dice not floor managers. Entonces sería he is not. Eh, otra vez menciona floor manager. Floor manager. Ajá, es que este sí es, este es negativo. Michelle not, sí ah, es. Ajá. Ah, sí, verdad. Este es negativo. He es cierto. Es not floor He's manager. Es not, uh -huh. not A. Póngame la, la He's letra not A. A. Yes. It, Because that means not one. Eso not significa, eso significa un o una. Ok, es the article. Es un artículo. He is not a, a floor manager. Perfect. Ah, okay. A floor manager. Excellent. Okay. Yes, that's singular. La sexta okay. sería... La seis sería Tina is engineer. 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 Hola, porque pensamos. Ajá, ladies, you finish? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So let me see. We are going back in 60 seconds. I'm going to send a message to everybody. Le voy a enviar un mensaje a todos de que en 60 segundos nos vamos de regreso. 60 seconds to finish. Okay, that's cool. And in your case, as you finish, you can go back to the main room. When it's the main room. Okay. 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 Okay, hello, we are back, everybody's back? Yes, everybody's back. Now let's see the exercise. Uh, let me just make it a little bit shorter and we are going to make it, no, we're going to make it bigger and what we are going to do is make it like this. Okay, guys, I'm going to be asking some of you the answers. Voy a preguntar a algunos de ustedes las respuestas. Let's see who am I going to ask. Let's see, for number, sentence number one, I got Miss Sandra Sarabia. Sandra, you are the first one, number one. Hola. Yes, we can hear you. Te le oímos. Hola. Me escuchas, teacher. Yes. I can't. Hola, hola. Sí, Sandra, le escuchamos. El número uno sería... Ah, vaya, gracias. Sería Ana is truck, truck, creo que se dice, ¿verdad? Driver. Okay. Perfect, truck. 
truck driver. Alan is a truck driver. Excellent, Sandra. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's thank see. You. No, thanks to you. I got Susana. Susana, number two. Hey. I am an assembler. Assembler, perfect. Roxana assembler. Claribel, number three is yours. Hello, Sorry. Roxana. Oh, perfect. Number three. Uh, Michelle is a floor manager. Excellent, excellent. Karen, number four. My boss is no, uh, es la palabra, <laughs> me la acaba de decir mi hermano. Maintenance. Maintenance. Correct. Maintenance. Perfect. Now let's see, guys, let's see, where's Walter Alexander? Five. No, well, sorry, perfect. sorry, sorry, sorry. Perfect, sorry. perfect. Uh, my boss is not maintenance. No, number five, number five. Oh. Uh, sorry, he is not floor manager. Perfect, mister. Now let's see, Walter Ruiz, you got number six. Tina is an engineer. Tina is an engineer. Perfect, excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, now we are going to do a different type of exercise, okay? Time is almost run out, el tiempo va volando, but we are going to do a different exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio diferente. What we're gonna do? Very simple, okay? Please pay good attention to me, okay? And let's see. I am Douglas. I am a teacher. My brother is David. He is a driver. Okay. My sister is Rocio. She is a secretary. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to introduce yourself and two members of your family. Can be cousin can be father, can be mother, okay? But you have to introduce two more persons from your family to your classmates, okay? I'll give you three minutes to prepare, okay? You're going to go work in small groups and you're going to, in those small groups, you can prepare. Le voy a dar tres minutos para que lo pueden dividir en grupos pequeños y ahí se van a preparar. Because then we're going to come back here and I'm going to pick up like five of you. Luego regresamos y yo escojo a cinco de ustedes. So you can present, introduce yourself and two members of your family. So we got three minutes and we are running against time. So let me recreate the, the rooms now. Let's see. Okay, guys. All rooms are created. Please jump in. Let's do it fast. Let's see who's still here. Oh, Indiana, in your case, you can stay here. And do it here, just written. You can send it to me. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm in for assist, assist, 
Assistant. Assistant. <laughs> Assistant. Perfect. Excellent. Sí. Agricultor, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Hm? Agricultor, ¿cómo se dice? Agricultor en inglés. ¿Cómo se dice agricultor en inglés? Farmer. Farmer. Sí, yeah, that's a farmer. Farmer. Okay. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Farmer. Ok. Uh, you can see that Walter is in the mood. No, it's working. <laughs> Whatever works. Lo que sea que funcione. To get more vocabulary. Farmer. Yes, right. Farmer. Ok. My name is Roxanne. Rosa, que es... Eh, no. Yo lo soy. Que I am que lo, no. Solo son tres. Solo son tres oraciones. Eh, primero es donde tú vas a decir I am... Eh, por ejemplo, I am Vanessa. Y después my brother is... Eh, ¿Qué? Engineer. Eh, my sister is secretary. Esas no son las tres oraciones. Lo que, lo que somos nosotros. Yes, no. Yo, soy tú. O sea, yo, sea, yo pensaba que era: I am Susana, I am hello. a seller. Hello, hello. Hello. Hola, hola. Hello. Ok. You can do it as Vanessa said, or you can do it as Susana said. Lo pueden hacer de las dos maneras. Como dijo Vanessa, como dice Susana. Present oh, yourself okay. like, like: Hi, my name is Douglas. I am a teacher. You see? My brother oh, okay. is Davis. He is a driver. My sister is Rocio, she's a secretary. Okay. Or I can just say, I am a teacher, my sister is a secretary, my brother is a driver. Right. Up to you. You can use whichever. Pueden usar cualquiera, okay? Okay. okay. One minute. Hurry up. Okay, okay. Sí, eh, hable, díganos. Bueno, cada quien puede preparar el suyo. O sea, para Tiene que, que hablar, ¿no? no se escogen. Uh -huh. No, pues claro. Pero es como yeah. que armamos el de Ajá. Mauricio, se arma el suyo y yo armo el mío. Igual que coincidimos, Okay, Maria, you were the first one to come back. So you are the chosen one. Como usted fue la primera en venir, es la escogida, Diana. So, please, Indiana, introduce yourself. Okay. I am Indiana. I am administrator head. My mo uh, administrator uh, head. Head administrator. Head administrator. My mother is Indiana. Is okay. a, um, my sister is named Stephanie. Is a administrator business business. A business administrator. Business administrator. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Indiana. Gracias. Come on, no Spanish, Indiana. Thank you. You said gracias. Gracias is not allowed here. Now let's see. Let's see next who's gonna be next and walter yes walter you activated your microphone so that's your turn walter ruiz okay my name is walter my brother says it's a student and my mother is a secretary okay student student, student. Now, look at me look at me look at me student student uh. Un problema que tenemos los latinos es que cuando vamos a pronunciar una palabra que en inglés inicia con S, decimos es. En este caso no vamos a decir es, vamos a decir student. 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 Como cuando decimos sapo, ¿ok? Say with me, say with me, diga conmigo, sapo. Sapo. Student. Student. Ok, le vamos a ir quitando la E, ¿ok? Thank you very much, Walter. Walter Alexander, you were ready to tell them to me. 
Blow it. Oh, All right. No. Okay, let's Stop. do it. Let's do it. No. My name is Walter Rana. I am is a counter. Okay. My brother is Carlos. He is a Hester Credit. Okay. Um, my sister is Edith Arana. She is a uh, Impulsadora. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Right. Now let's see who's going to be next. Who's going to be next? Sandra Saravia. Hola. Yes. We can hear you. My administrator. Okay. Assistant administrator. Administrator. Yep. Uh, my brother is Lizardo. He is ar architect. Okay, an architect. Perfect. Así se dice. My sister, my sister is Lizette. She is a nurse. 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 Yes. Perfect. Thank you. No Thank gracias. You. Come on, Sandra. No gracias. Okay, let's see. Let's see who's going to be next. Evelyn, Evelyn, you are ready. Please, start with <laughs> Thank us. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia. Hello. Hello. I am. I am. I am I am Evelyn. Perfect. I am a lawyer. Um, my husband Ernest is an engineer. An engineer. And my brother uh, Jorge is a doctor. Wow! Excellent. Cool. So you got solutions for all the problems: legal, construction, <laughs> and health. That's cool. That's nice, that's nice. Now, let's see, let's oh, see, please. let's see. Uh, Susana, Susana Hernandez, please tell me about you. Right now. Hi, my name Hi. is Susana. I am a seller service manufacturing. Okay. My husband is a singer and my oh, sister oh. is a doctor. Wow, It's fiction, artist. it's fiction. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Susana. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Well done. Ivania Rodriguez. Ivania is looking at me like sideways. Please, Ivania. You're next. Um, I am Ivania Rodriguez. Um, my dad and name is Fernanda. It is a student. My mom, she's named Sonia Ramos. It is housewife. Okay, housewife. 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 Student. Student. Y cuando vamos a decir su de ella es her. Ok. Her. Her name. Su her nombre. name. Yes. Okay. Her name is. Su nombre es. Su mm -hmm. de ella. Ok. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. I still got time for one more. Tengo tiempo para uno más. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Mauricio. Mauricio Quintanilla. Come on, Mauricio. Your turn. You are the one. Hi, my name is Mauricio. Okay. My sister, my brother, pardon. <laughs> my brother Ernesto, he's a supervisor. And other brothers, si no sé si está bien. My other brothers is assistant administ administrativo. Okay, administrative assistant. Administrative assistant. Supervisor. Okay. Supervisor. Now, all of you, thank you very much, Mauricio. Todos ustedes, esas oraciones que me han preparado, los que no las dijeron, no se deshagan de ellas. Eh, Le dieron el acceso a la plataforma, ¿verdad? En la plataforma ustedes van a ver que está la estructura y que les aparece, les aparece a cada uno de ustedes eh, como videoconferencia 1, videoconferencia 2. Abajo de la videoconferencia le va a aparecer un foro. El día de mañana, esta clase que estamos teniendo ahorita, le va a aparecer ahí en la plataforma, la grabación de la clase completa. 
So if you need to check something, to practice something, or necesitan practicar algo más, lo pueden ver ahí. Y abajo de la grabación va a aparecer en el foro que ustedes introduce yourself, que ustedes se presenten a sí mismos. Entonces, ¿qué van a hacer? Estas oraciones que me tenían preparadas para ahora, me las van a escribir ahí. Y si hay algún error, yo ahí les corrijo. No se preocupen, esto es parte del mismo trabajo nuestro, ¿ok? Si tenemos dudas, mañana al inicio de la clase voy a proyectar de nuevo la plataforma para que podamos ver cómo es el trabajo en ella. De que si se atrasa el día de mañana, no se preocupen. Yo les ayudo al final de la clase. Ok, eh, I need to get just the attendance quite fast. Necesito sacar una asistencia, pero lo más rápido que podamos. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. Ok, I will, I will be saying your names fast. So tell me your present fast. Voy a decir sus nombres rápido. Vladimir Antonio Martínez. Present. Thank you. Antonia Elizabeth Méndez. No here. Yajaira Meléndez. Present. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo. Present. Walter Josué Ruiz Ayala. Present. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Present. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. ¿No? Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Walter Emerson Picha Delgado. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Indiana de Jesús Obando. Oh, she has problems. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Thank you. Roxana Claribel. Present. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Ok. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present. Present. Indiana María Doña Estrada. Present. Ok. Just let me check something. I got, I got. Walter Emerson Piche, and I got Walter Josué. ¿Hubo alguien que no mencioné? Walter Arana, present. Ok, Walter Arana, Walter Alexander Arana. Solo permítame que necesito que me corrijan el listado, nada más. Igual yo, teacher. Vaya. Ivani Rodríguez. Yanira de Salazar. Ivani Rodríguez. ¿Quién más? Yanira de Salazar. Yanira no de Salazar. No la mencioné, Yanira. Eh, me muy bien. Y Walter, ¿cuál Walter fue que me faltó? Walter, Walter Arana. Alexander Arana Cortés. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. En el caso de Ivania Rodríguez, regáleme el nombre completo, por favor. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Ok, Rodríguez Ramos. Y Yanira de Salazar. Correcto. Eh, eh, Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Yanira del Carmen. Del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Paz de Salazar. Esas fueron las personas que no mencioné, Paz ¿verdad? O sea, las tres no les mencioné. Walter Ruiz le mencioné. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. I'm sorry. Sí, yes. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Perfecto. Ok. Este, guys, thank you very much for being here in my class. Les agradezco a todos por estar aquí. I hope to see you tomorrow. And don't worry, we are going to advance more tomorrow. Mañana vamos a avanzar un poquito más, ok? Thank you very much. Have a good night. Rest. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye. Everybody, Bye. good night. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Take care.